In this video, I will explain what are Ansible variables, and why, where, and how to use Ansible variables. Ansible variables are like shortcuts for storing values that you want to use more than once in your playbook. Instead of repeating the same information multiple times, you can store it in a variable, and then refer to that variable whenever you need it. This way, if the information changes, you can update it in one place and it will automatically update everywhere it's used in your playbook. Variables make your playbooks more efficient and easier to maintain by allowing you to store and reuse information in a convenient and organized way. Ansible variables are used for the following reasons. Reusability. Variables allow you to store values that can be used multiple times in your playbook, reducing the amount of repetitive code. Flexibility. In Ansible, you can define variables that can store a value and that value can be used multiple times in your playbook. This means that instead of repeating the same value multiple times throughout your playbook, you can simply refer to the variable that contains the value. For example, let's say you have a playbook that installs and configures an application. You might define a variable called app underscore version that contains the version number of the application you want to install. You can then use this variable in multiple tasks in your playbook, such as in a command that downloads the application, in a file that contains the application configuration, and in a service that starts the application. If you need to update the version of the application, you only need to modify the value of the app underscore version variable, rather than having to change it in multiple places throughout your playbook. Maintainability. When you use variables in your Ansible playbook, you can define a value once and then use it in multiple places. This can be very helpful for simplifying the maintenance of your playbook. For example, let's say you have a playbook that deploys a web application. Within the playbook, you may have several tasks that install dependencies, set up the web server, configure the application, and start the application. Throughout the playbook, there may be multiple places where you need to specify values such as the path to the application code or the port number that the application listens on. By using variables, you can define these values once and then reference them throughout your playbook. This makes it much easier to maintain your playbook because if you need to update a value, you only need to change it in one place, rather than having to update it in every place where it is used throughout the playbook. Consistency Variables help to ensure consistency across your playbooks, as you can use the same variable with the same value in different playbooks, making it easier to manage and update information. Let's say you have two playbooks, one playbook creates and configures a file, while the other playbook deletes the file. Both playbooks require the same value for the path of the file. If you hard code this file path in each playbook, you risk introducing inconsistencies if the path of file ever changes. However, if you use a variable to define the file path, you can easily update it in one place and have it applied consistently across all of your playbooks. By using variables in this way, you can ensure that your configuration is consistent across all of your servers, which makes it easier to manage and update information. This can save you time and effort in the long run, as it reduces the risk of human error and makes it easier to make changes across your entire infrastructure. Readability When you use variables in your Ansible playbook, you can replace complex values with short, easy-to-read variable names, making it easier to understand what's happening in your playbooks. For example, instead of writing a long path to a configuration file in every task, you can define a variable with a short and descriptive name such as config underscore path. This makes it easier to read and understand your playbook because anyone can easily tell what the config underscore path variable is referring to. It also makes the playbook more maintainable because if the path to the configuration file changes, you only need to update the variable in one place, instead of having to update it in multiple places throughout the playbook. Ansible variables can be used in many different parts. Tasks are the individual actions that are performed in a playbook. By using variables in tasks, you can specify file paths command arguments, and other values that are needed to perform a task. This allows for more flexibility in how the task is performed, as the variable can be changed based on the environment or other conditions. For example, let's say you have a playbook that installs a package Nginx on a server. In the task that performs the installation, you can use a variable to specify the name of the package. Here, the package underscore name variable is used to specify the name of the package that should be installed. This allows you to easily change the package that is installed by simply modifying the value of the package underscore name variable. Templates are files that can be dynamically generated using variables and then pushed to remote hosts. By using variables in templates, you can create files that are customized for a specific host or group of hosts without having to manually update each file. For example, 
Let's say you have a playbook that deploys a web application to a group of servers. The playbook uses a template to generate the configuration file for the web server. Within the template, you can use variables to customize the configuration file for each server. You might use variables to specify the name of the database server, the port number for the database connection, or the location of the log files. By using variables in templates, you can create more dynamic and flexible configurations that can be easily customized for different environments or use cases. This can help simplify your playbooks and make them more maintainable, as you can use the same template with different variables to generate multiple configurations. You can use variables in conditionals, loops, and other control structures to determine which tasks to run based on certain conditions. For example, you may want to run a certain task only if a certain condition is met, such as whether a particular package is installed on the target system or not. You can define a variable that holds the value of the package name, and then use a conditional statement to check whether the package is installed or not. If the package is not installed, you can use the apt or yum module to install it. In this example, we have a playbook that runs on the web server's group of hosts. We define a variable called package underscore name that holds the name of the package we want to install, in this case, Apache 2. We then have two tasks. The first task uses the stat module to check whether the package is already installed, and the second task uses the app module to install the package if it's not already installed. The second task is conditional, meaning it will only run if the package underscore stat variable which is set in the first task, shows that the package is not already installed. Variables can be defined in separate files and directories such as group vars, host vars, and vars files. These files are used to store variables that are specific to a group of hosts, an individual host, or the entire playbook. Using these separate files for variables provides a way to centralize and organize your variables. For example, if you have a group of web servers defined in your inventory file with the name web servers, you can create a group underscore vars file named webservers.yml in your project directory with the following contents. In your playbook, you can reference these variables using the group name like this. In this example, I have defined three variables for the group of web servers in the webservers.yml file. These variables are then referenced in the playbook to configure the web server. The web underscore server underscore user and web underscore server underscore group variables are used to set the owner and group of the generated configuration file, while the web underscore server underscore port variable is used in the template to specify the port on which the web server listens. That's all for now. Subscribe for part 2. Thank you.